to achieve some sort of happiness today, that's not my that, that, that's not my responsibility to tell you that. My want today is to give you hope that you can start moving forward to achieve things in your life that make you happy. If I can help you understand that happiness can be attained, all those things will... How many? Eight? Okay. If I can help you understand that hope can... If you can pick up some hope from me, you start moving forward. I believe those those other deal, details. Because you'll get a lot of people say, if you don't get God in your life, you're not going to ever achieve anything and you're never going to be happy. Who am I up here to stand to tell you that? If you can't love yourself, how can you love a God? you got to start looking in the mirror and say, you know what? I can start doing better. I can start trying a little harder. I can start doing things a little bit better than I did yesterday. And if we can get that encouragement for ourselves, before you know it, I believe that whole other relationship that we were just talking about will take care of itself. Well, and one of the things that I've heard before, and you're your next, is, is I heard God, G-O-D, good orderly direction. I can't wrap, you know, when I first started in, in my sobriety and my recovery, I couldn't wrap my head around that idea. God, oh, that's, that's a little bigger than I can chew right now. That was the whole elephant. I, I needed a little smaller bite. And, and the next thing, I was like, well, I'll just do the right thing. And, and I'll put in, start putting a good positive foot forward each day. I'll start having that good orderly direction in my life. And then as time went on, I was able to start, comp, you know, I could start, you know, compre- comprehending, oh, this God thing. I, I started getting around uh, other believers, and then I, but that was down the road. You know, what about today? Today isn't important. How do we leave the conference and say, hey, when I go through the drive through I'm going to be a little bit nicer than I was before because I've got hope today like I didn't have yesterday. That's what it's about. Being the opportunity to be kind to your fellow man. Being kind to your fellow woman. And, and having the opportunity to, to have hope today. And when we get to those opportunities where we can challenge ourselves, we say, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm starting to like what I see in the mirror. And, and no is not part of that. Yes is. That makes sense? Yes, ma'am. I just asked. There was not a barrier. The only barrier that there was is that I could not receive financial aid if I committed a felony while I was receiving financial aid. That's the only barrier. Now, I will tell you that they had. I had to write and get like six letters of, of recommendation, and I had to get people in the community to kind of vouch for me. I had to be on a probationary period for uh, two semesters, and as long as I was good with the chances they gave me, now I'm in full status. I have nothing to worry about. But, you know, it's one of those things, well, I'm not going to school if they're going to put me on probation. Probation. Why not? Are you going to do something wrong that they're not going to be happy with your probationary period? You know, the last time I got charged with a felony, they said, well, we're going to put you on five years probation with seven year backup. I don't care if you give me 50. I'm going to walk my probation. If you know you're going to do the right thing, no matter what kind of restrictions they put on you because of barriers that you've, you've caused yourself in the past, uh, you'll be able to overcome them. There's opportunities out there for every one of us. And I, my, my encouragement today is through my story, if, if my life of despair can be turned into a life of love and joy, it's available for all of us. And I think that you said it best. Whether, you know, I, when I was when I started school, uh, you know, I, I struggled with, you know, um, what they call ADA, ADD now. You know, I really struggled. I was, um, I got in a lot of trouble in school because I really didn't, couldn't focus as well, you know. Um, um, they evaluated me several times because, you know, they thought there was more going on. But as later in life uh, showed, you know, I just have tr- trouble paying attention. Um, but, you know, that, that stemmed into some of the problems because, you know, uh, I was taken out of regular class and taken into those special classrooms, if you will, and that really started some self-esteem issues. And those self-esteem issues progressed into things where I started trying drugs. And those trying drugs and stuff really progressed to where I didn't like myself. And it took me 30 years of my life where I finally said, you know what, maybe, maybe, maybe what, maybe what, I am or who I am is not so bad and maybe I need to take another look at that. And that's the hope to take a look at yourself and once we become happy with ourselves.